Okay, hello and welcome to another video, and this video is Clean My Mac 3 Review. Uh, for those of you who have been watching for a very, 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 very long time, will know that I used to use a correct version of Clean My Mac 2. Um, but for multiple reasons, for the fact that Clean My Mac 2 is just completely not optimized for Yosemite, um, when they released Clean My Mac 3 and I saw that it was half price, I definitely got it, because the main reason I didn't get Clean My Mac 2 is because it was $40. I don't think that's really worth it, but it was definitely worth $20, so when it was up to $20, I was actually very, very happy. So here it is, Clima Mac 3, and this has got so many more features than Clima Mac 2, so we've got a lot to get through. Um, okay, so let's just have a look at the, as you can see, this is way more optimized for Yosemite, so this actually, this sidebar thing on the side here, this thing here, is transparent, and it kind of just does the general Yosemite transparency thing. So, yeah. That looks very nice. Um, there's a couple of new features. The new one actually works with the Photos library. So if you've got Yosemite 10.3, you can now use the Photos library. That actually works, even though it still says iPhoto. Um, this one can actually get rid of old mail attachments and old iTunes stuff. iTunes stuff like old backups and um, stuff like that. <laughs> uh, and apart from that, it's mainly the same. Uh, in this kind of area. There is a couple of new things, so in the maintenance section you can actually have certain tasks around like run maintenance scripts, flush the DNS, speed up the mail, re-index, repair just permissions, verify, start up disk, some new privacy stuff you can do. Yeah, so there's lots of new stuff that you can do. Shredder's still there. It's um... Yeah, so yeah, so this, that's a lot of new features here. This, of course, the smart cleanup involves all of them. Um, there's this dashboard function, so you can click that, and it gives you a couple of things. Like you can have, uh, you can share your result, which is as you can see, 19.69 clean since first use. I've used this twice because of the new features of Mail and iTunes. It clicks a lot more than the old one did. It also gives you a couple of specs, like I'm using 8% of the processor. There's three hours remaining of battery. Um, I can free up the RAM if I want. Uh, which is probably not such a bad idea. And there's, um, that just gives you a general idea of what's on your hard drive, really. Uh, but you can access a similar view from up in here. You may see there's a Clima Mac 3 icon. If I click on it, you can see that we've got the same kind of view. And also, when I hover over memory, there's a free up memory option which I can use, which is handy. And then we've got the same. Bit. Sorry about that. Looks like when I freed up the memory, it kind of stopped the recording. Um, yeah, so don't do that while you're recording. Uh, but as I was saying, basically when that's closed, that'll open Clima Mac 3, and when it's open, it'll show it. Um, so we've got a little help function down here, and there's, as I said, so you can now free up memory. So this, I actually uninstalled Memory Clean because this does such a better job, and the dashboard's got such a nice view of how it is. Um, it even gives you information about the MacBook and of course, you can share the result. I don't know what you can. Oh, Twitter and Facebook. Um, so it's very handy, and uh, we can start the scan, and it'll start scanning things. May take a while, um, but yeah. So Clima Mac Three has a lot of new features. So let's have a look at the uninstaller here. If we view the applications, as you can see, this one is. The uninstaller is fairly similar to the old. Jesus, it's frozen. Um, the old ones in the sense that you can have a complete uninstallation button here and an application reset. In any cases where you would need to reset an application. Um. Gosh, this is slow today. Ah, uh, privacy. Of course, I told you about that. The maintenance. So you can run these maintenance tasks here. Um, it's still got the large enough files, but. You can actually, I think you can turn this off now. I haven't I have to have a look. Trash bins, um, gets rid of mail trash, uh, iTunes trash, iPhoto trash, and just your trash trash. Um, it's analyzing iTunes, doing mail stuff. So I don't know, it's still scanning that. So yeah, it's just it's 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 in a lot of ways it's fairly similar. It looks a lot better, of course. It's um. 
once it's finished with this it'll kind of go pretty fast but basically it's just got a lot more how do I put it a lot more kind of interesting features that we've never really seen before in a clean my Mac version it looks very nice it's very it's a very nicely programmed program so so like I don't know in my opinion it, it just feels more fluent and it kind of just works and moves better than the other one it uh, was definitely worth the twenty dollars so I don't know if it's still on sale but if it is uh, that's twenty Australian dollars by the way if it is I definitely recommend you get it because it was definitely very worth that um, yeah it's got the dashboard you can oh, where that's that kind of stuff stop you can deauthenticate ah this now automatically authenticates itself I don't know if you knew but in the old version when you were doing something like removing system files you would have to actually enter your username and password it uh, doesn't require you to do that anymore uh, because it automatically authenticates itself uh, you can deauthenticate it if you want and then you'd have to do the other thing I'm sure there's a setting in there somewhere um, you'd have to have a look as you can see it's all the way down to launch and old files Ooh, um, so yeah, it's actually, I don't know what this emoji symbols thing is, let's have a look at that, nothing opened, okay, um, oh, wait, something's opening, oh, there we go, oh, this is just a character map thing, don't worry about it, oh, it's got a new sound, I don't know if you heard that, but it has a new kind of sound for when it's finished, now, before you click clean, see, you'll see something, that says nothing to clean, nothing to clean, nothing to clean, that says needs review, and that says needs review. So I can just go to iTunes and there's 10 point something gigs to rev delete. I can select that. For privacy reasons, I won't. Same with large and old files. So it's 40 gig, uh, which I could delete. But it, it's probably just mostly parallels files, which take up 100 gig on my computer. I just figured out this morning that parallels is 100 gig. So I should probably think about something to do with that. Uh, you can still review these details. Uh, for example, as you can see here, we've got some leftovers. Leftovers are no longer part of the uninstall, they're now part of the system junk removal. It's got the same kind of cache files. You can still, so as I said, yeah, you can still go through and tick these, untick these, and of course run the clean. And that will clean it. And of course, it's still got this thing which kind of closes it. I actually like this one better than the one that comes on most Mac default Mac applications because this one actually relaunches them after cleanup, which is um, handy. So it'll go do stuff like that. Once it's done, makes it nice again. Once again, still advertises for the Gemini application, but I will tell you that the Gemini application is still, if I close this, is still um, uh, not optimized for Yosemite, so I wouldn't recommend getting that yet. This detailed log, I'm assuming you can just click on this. No, apparently not. Oh well, it's not very detailed then. So yeah, this has uh, been Clean My Mac 3. It's very useful. Oh, Clean My Mac 3 menu. There we go. Uh, it's, it's a very useful application, I actually I'm very happy with it. Um, I'd highly recommend you purchase it if you're thinking about purchasing it. Uh, it's on sale at the moment, so I would get it. There's other, these other things as well, I suppose. Um, so yeah, this has been Clean My Mac 3. I highly recommend this software, especially on its half price price. It's definitely worth the twenty dollars. Gar I can uh, guarantee you'll love it. It is really useful and it's cleaned up as you can see 19 gig in just two uses so it was very very useful um, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video goodbye oh, special thanks to